Welcome back to Motorcycle Repair Tour Bay. As you know, I'm Kevin, and today we're going to be working on this WR450. This one is a 2010 model. It's just a basic video of how to change the oil correctly, what tools you'll need, and the process that you're going to be following. So basically, I'm not going to mess about it, let's get straight into it. I've taken it all apart already, but I'm going to explain. I'm not going to do it as I'm going along. Nice short video. So basically, you've got your uh, belly pan, that's normally on there. You've got three 8mm bolts, take them out, there's one there, one that side, and there's one underneath in the middle. That comes off, then you're going to take this out of 12mm spanner to remove the sun plug and copper sealing washer. Now the sun plug is towards the back of the engine on the right hand side. So it's about here, just underneath. Take your 8mm, 8mm, 12mm, and do the sun plug. Be careful you don't lose a copper washer. Now, when you refit this after you filling it, or before you fill up the oil, you're going to need to replace that washer. Some people don't, but if you don't, you run the risk of it leaking, which then is the right pain because you have to do it all over again and drain the oil. So that's that. And now, for the oil filter, have got the oil filter casing which looks like this which is on the side of the engine which sits here there's three five mil allen boat and um, yes allen boats yep five mil didn't want that one anyway so basically you take off the bottom one the left one and the right one take that off oil filter comes out throw that in the bin Place a new one, just make sure you get the oil filter the right way around because if you don't, then you've got issues. So the open end of the filter sits in here. You can see that little peg? The open end fits in there. You can't really fit any other way around, otherwise, this case wouldn't fit back on. Now, when you've got this case off, if you can, it'd be ideal to replace these O rings. There's an O ring there which seals the main body of the filter, and there's also three O rings here which does all the oil galleries make sure they are either replaced or inspected and checked. So refit your oil filter, fit that back up, do the boats out, don't over tighten them, just nip them a little bit, just do them up so they're there, so they go to go tight and then just nip them a little bit. Otherwise you run the risk of cracking this or pulling the threads. Um, put your drain plug in, refill your oil, and that's about it really. So all you really need is an eight mil socket and a 12mm spanner. Um, to fill it up is on the other side of the engine. Uh, there should be a filler cap just on the left hand side. Which looks like this. Take that out of the left hand side engine case, fill the engine oil up from there, put the specified amount in, start the engine, let it cool down, let the oil run to the bottom of the leaf sump, and then check it again. Um, and then, yeah, that's that complete. But you need to keep an oil on like every ride, I would. After every ride, a ride in this machine, you want to check the oil. Being a single cylinder, they all burn a little bit of oil, normally. Being high compression. Uh, that's about that, really. There's, a, there's another, another thing that's worth pointing out. So when you fill out the oil, just under the gear lever, there is an 8mm bolt. Undo that bolt and then top of the oil until it starts coming out of that bolt. Let the oil drip out, put the bolt back in, and then that's your desired, um, that's your desired level, engine oil level. So it's the left hand, on the left hand side, under the gear lever, and you'll need an 8mm, the same as what you've removed the belly, belly pan with to get the correct level, let it run out, let it like slow down when it's dripping out, stick it back in, the 8mm bolt, and then your level's correctly topped up. Make sure the bike's upright, so it's not leaning to the left or the right. That will give you the proper oil level. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.